right. This, uh, this first guy coming to the stage is a uh, good friend of mine. And by good friend, I mean he actually invited, they invited me to their podcast. So, uh, no, this guy's very funny. He's got his own podcast called The Stand Up Sit Down with a, with a couple of other comics. And uh, we got him here tonight. I want you to clap it up for Ramon Moledo, everybody. Ramon Moledo, let him hear it. Yeah. I swear to God, if somebody orders an ice blend coffee while I'm on stage, I'm going to fucking snap. <laughs> I love this room. <laughs> it's got great acoustics <coughs> in the back. Great acoustics. Great <laughs> acoustics. I like how Duncan said this guy looks like he's from the Grateful Dead, when clearly this guy looks like Jerry Garcia from the 1960s. <laughs> Although I'm not sure what Jerry Garcia would have thought about Slipknot. <laughs> I, I, I can't see a clown face guy passing around the peace pipe. I just can't see it, man. <laughs> oh, shit. So I'm divorced. Uh, thank you. <laughs> and I went through a nine month dry spell. And I, I, uh, I lost my mating dance. You know, I forgot, forgot how to work the feathers and shit, you know? <laughs> I finally get, ended up getting with this girl, and she was like, do you even know what a Taurus is? I don't you think I know anything about dinosaurs? <laughs> I'm not grew up with Jurassic Park and shit! Taurus, that's, that's a spitting dinosaur, right? <laughs> spitting dinosaur. Anyway, I ended, up, uh, I ended up hooking up with this chick, right? And there was... It was the best sex I ever had. Okay. Her tongue sailing down a sea leg until it beached itself upon my tender meat peninsula. <laughs> and I, like a fully erect Moses, staff in hand, anxiously awaiting the freeing of my people to the promised land of Pussiesburg. <laughs> I put the power of Zeus in that caboose. I came so hard. <laughs> I traveled back in time two seconds and blew a load in my own face. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a blast in the past. <laughs> I'm in a long distance relationship. I have to keep at least 500 feet at all times. <laughs> No, seriously. So, uh, I've been told I have a dad sense of humor. It's apparent. Um, <laughs> but I like to use puns and stuff. For instance, cow pies bullshit. <laughs> Plantains are fucking bananas. You know, those, those kind of puns. What my dad does is he, he'll take a song and apply it to whatever you're talking about. Kind of in like in a pump form, but song pun form, whatever. Like, uh, like I'll be like, when I was in high school, I'd go to my dad, I'm like, hey dad, I, I went to class today. He went, I went to class today, oh boy. It's like embarrassing, you know, because you're at the Publix or something, or with your friends. And... But it makes me wonder, because like, he, he uses songs from his generation, you know? Which makes me wonder if like, when, my, when I'm a dad, will I be the same way, but use songs from my generation? Like, my kid comes up to me and is like, hey, Dad, can we go bowling today? Go bowling, 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 bowling. What? Oh, bowling, 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 bowling. Now I know y'all be loving this shit right here. <laughs> my kids are just terrified, you know, because... <laughs> kids these days are all listening to, like, Bon Iver and Suffy and Stevens. They don't know who the hell Limp Bizkit is, you know? <laughs> my other kid comes up to me and is like, hey, Dad, can we go to the beach? Crawling in the sand. Sunburn that will not peel. <laughs> <laughs> well, my daughter will come up to me and she's like, Hey, Dad, can you pick up some maxi pads? Even flow. <laughs> <laughs> that was a period piece. Um, <laughs> all right, you guys have been great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Give it for Dr. J. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
clap it up for him. Let him hear it. Let him hear it. Let him hear it. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Have a seat. Have a seat. Grab the mic so that everybody can hear you. Not like we need it. There's 12 people here. Uh, one more time for Ramon, everybody. Let him hear it. All right. So uh, I guess I guess the first question is, uh, we're going to ask everybody this just so that the audience gets to know you. This is an open mic. How long have you been doing comedy? Uh, about a year and four months. All right. Cool. A year and four months. He just had his uh, one-year birthday uh, four months ago. So, <laughs> so uh, like, uh, where do you get your inspiration for your jokes? Like, where do you, where do you, where do you, how do you come up with the, with the punny, punny shit that you, we call him the pun, by the way, we call him the Punisher. Did you fucking get it? it fuck, fuck you guys, okay. Um, no, uh, where do you come up with the shit that you come up with? Because, uh, through pain. I, uh... <laughs> Through life's trials and tribulations, you know, uh, my uh, immense fear of mediocrity, uh, loneliness, um, it just, it's, it's basically a big stew that I, uh, I, I <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's answering your fucking Miss America question. <laughs> just fucking... <laughs> no, like, seriously? Like... <laughs> well, yeah, I got in, I got into comedy originally because I got in, I was in a divorce and I, uh, you know, I felt like it would be a good way to ex ex express myself. Has it been Before, cathartic? Uh, I, I I feel that it's helped. I'm, I'm trying to. Uh, I started out originally doing a lot of puns, and you know, of course I got the yeah. name of the Punisher, and uh, so now I'm trying to take things from life and put it into my my act more. Okay. Yeah, like like the the whole thing with the the girlfriend with the daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and my sex sex capades. Your sex capades. Now, what do you do for? <laughs> <laughs> I came in my own face. Um, <laughs> let's put that in a joke. <laughs> I guess yeah, you're paying your trials and tribulations. <laughs> it stinks. <laughs> it's so salty. Uh, <laughs> So, um, this is like Frost and Nixon. Man. It's like good thing I had. Good thing, it's like good thing I had pineapple. <laughs> Sorry, pineapple I couldn't get that juice. out quick enough. That's what she said. Heard that. So, um, <laughs> waga waga. So, what do you do for a day job? I know, like you're not making money at comedy yet. So, uh, I, uh, I'm a dental tech. I make teeth. You make teeth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know those two old people in the back? I'm just fucking with you guys. I just said, <laughs> Andy wants to kill me. He's like, that's the last time you called me old, motherfucker. I will show that guitar straight up your ass. <laughs> so, um... Now, people ask me how I like my job, you know, and I'm like, toothfully? <laughs> it bites. Oh! <laughs> All right, man. Well, do you have anything? Here's a question. Every day's a new day. Here's a question I'm going to ask everybody. Tell, tell, tell us, our audience here, right now, something that nobody knows about you. Nobody knows. Uh, when I was in fifth grade, I almost threw up on my friend. Or no, I was, <laughs> I was five years old, and I had a migraine, and my buddy was staying over, and I didn't realize that he was sleeping on the floor, and I went rolled over just to throw up, and I kind of almost threw up all over. <laughs> Are you still friends with that guy? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> One more time for Ramon, everybody. Clap it up for Ramon. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now it's just uh, thank you very much. Oh, um, so no, I uh, I actually just uh, I, I didn't just, but I've, I've actually quit smoking weed a while back because uh, I think there's a time and a place where you realize you smoke too much. Um, and mine was uh, actually. Have you ever uh, have you ever looked for your phone while you were on it? <laughs> you ever been that high where you were just like looking for your phone while you were... Yeah, that happened to me. True story. Going to my friend's house and I'm on my phone telling him I'm on my way because I'm out of weed. I just smoked it all. He's got more. I'm going there, right? You go where the weed is. So I'm on the phone and I'm just like, dude, oh shit. I think I gotta go home. He's like, why? I go, I think I left my phone at home. <laughs> That's not even the funny part. The funny part is my friend was so high on the other side, he goes, all right, call me when you find it. <laughs> <laughs> call me when you find it. 
So I turned around, I went back, this is why I was living in New York, so I turned around and went back to the subway, got down the stairs, was looking for my Metro card, and I go, oh, there's my phone, what the fuck? Yeah. Called my friends and found it. <laughs> <laughs> what made me stop smoking weed was when I wrote the funniest joke on the planet. I wrote the funniest joke ever written. It was going to be this joke that was going to get me into superstar. That was going to be my, you know, you know, uh, N word versus black people for Chris Rock. That was going to be my my whole thing, you know. And I'm at a party. I got my notebook, and I'm telling this joke to everybody. We're all getting high. Everybody's dying, so I'm writing it down, writing it down. And then I get home. I'm telling. I showed everybody the joke. I showed it to them. They laughed. Told it to them. They laughed get home, take the notebook, I put it under my pillow because I want to dream about the joke. It's that fucking good. I wake up the next morning excited to read the joke. I'm like, this is going gonna, this gonna to be the joke. And I open up the notebook and all that's in the notebook is a triangle. <laughs> shit. I had no idea what that meant. I was like, holy shit, what the, okay. So I called everybody that I knew that was at that party. It was like 10 people I knew at that party. I was like, dude, Remember that joke uh, I said, I told you guys, he's like, dude, it was fucking hilarious. I go, yeah, but do you remember? He's like, not at all. <laughs> so you're, you're a dick. Call up another buddy. I said, dude, you remember that joke? That's all. He's like, dude, that was the funniest shit I ever heard. Okay, okay, do you remember anything about it? He's like, yeah, it had something to do with a triangle. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so that's when I knew it was time to put down the weed, and it did. So, boo hoo hoo, life sucks for me. <laughs> Um, I am going to bring up your next comic, though. You guys ready for your next comedian? Yeah. Somebody wasn't listening at the beginning of the show. Clap your hands. You, clap your... No? Nothing? She's like, she's just giving me the fucking Andy stare, like, fuck you. I'll shove his guitar straight up your ass. 